My name is Frank and uh, this is TVO. So we did a studio um, performance of this amazing song, amazing cover, One Sweet Day and um, it was awesome. I must tell it was amazing. So now we have another version sent by someone, thank you. Um, One Sweet Day, Live, Katrina Vallad and Buddha Kel. Yes, amazing group, R&B group. Let's listen to this together and see what we can learn from it. Yeah, let's go. Yes, it's quite similar. The way they're singing right now is so much, so much similar to what they did in the studio. All right, the only difference is the sound coming out from here. It's not as clear as the one in the studio because obviously that one is treated, and um, yeah, this one is also treated but in a different way. <laughs> Yes, um, Katrina also singing in a similar fashion. Yeah, and um, you know, these guys are really good singers. They can reproduce um, what they did in the studio also here. That's a quality of a really good singer. That's slightly different. I think they're doing a great job. Great job. You know, they sound so good, you'd almost think that it's processed. Yeah, there's a lot, you know, especially aspiring singers, there's a lot you can learn from people like this. These are professionals. They've been doing it for quite a while now, so they've gained the confidence. And to gain the confidence like this, you have to step out and sing. There's no other way. You can sound really good in your room, in your closet, you know, in your house. But when you come in front of people like this, it's a different world, trust me. And, uh, you know, it may get the best of you. The people who are watching you live may get the best of you. The sound coming from the system and all that. But it takes, you know, singing over and over again, doing this thing, coming out over and over again to make you gain more confidence and the real you will shine. <laughs> Good singers know how to use different colors in their voice and you can tell they do it on purpose. You know the mixed voice, chest voice, head voice, they use almost all of them, especially in a genre like this, which is R&B, you know, um, even pop sometimes, but this one has more color, more styles, R&B. So you need to know the characteristics of each um, genre. Like um, when we do world music, for instance, most of them doesn't don't require the full you know, range. They don't require like mixed voice, head voice, um, 
based on their style, their culture, and things like that, they have certain characteristic that is peculiar to them. All right, just like we're doing right now, and R&B has its own characteristics. So there's a lot to learn, you know, and it's also good to learn these different genres, and it will improve you a lot in terms of uh, making a decision or judgment how to approach or sing a song. <laughs> With his hands in his pocket, you can tell he's really, really comfortable. He's in control of his voice, and that's how it should be. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> Wow, mixed voice. Okay, let's rewind a bit. Oh my God, amazing. <laughs> First of the transition into another key, a higher key was flawless. So good you'd almost not know that they they um, uh, modulated. That was excellent, and they were um, in the mixed voice by then. These guys are so good. The control is something else. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I think that was Bugoy. I was actually uh, thinking it was um, Katrina until I looked and 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 saw that it was Bugoy who did that upper head voice. Sounded like a female. Listen. No, not there. I think here. Yeah. That's, that's really good. That's that's really, really good. To make one almost think is Katrina doing it. It's really good. Live whistle voice from Katrina. He takes boldness to do that. Well, there's a lot of more low end frequency, mid low frequency. It's kind of a little bit clouding the um, higher frequency. So if you didn't quite hear the whistle voice, it's as a result of that, and that's what makes makes this performance different from the studio one. The studio one, everything is crisp and clear. All right, this one is clear in a different way. If you're there, I mean, what contributes to this is perhaps the size of the room, especially that, the way sound bounces off walls and things like that. Um, yeah, it could change the quality of the sound a little bit. <laughs> Oh 
oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. I'm inspired. I feel like even seeing it right now after watching these guys. This is good. Bravo. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. So I'm going to see you next time in the next reaction and analysis video. Bye.